power of sport. But this is raw sport. First of all, let's, let's start with the letter that Brent Sancho wrote yesterday. It seemed that he got a bit angered after the TTFA called on them for more patience, to exercise a little more patience, uh, Brent put pen to paper. Based on your synopsis, what is your response? Well, I thought it wasn't worthy of, of, of a response for me. And I say that not, not from a, a point of disrespect, or position of disrespect for Mr. Sancho, but I disrespect the views that were shared. Uh, first of all, let, let me see. You have to start from the top, okay? When I finally decided to get back in the football, I say finally because overtures were made and I didn't pay the attention, pay them attention because that was all complete off my of my, my radar. I had no intention of getting back involved in football. And because I saw there were certain things that were institutionalized and had to move, change things that that remained and fested for so long would have been difficult to change. Nevertheless, uh, by conversations and discussions and my own love of football as a sport, I decided that if I were identified as a person who could assist, I will. And that's how I got involved. Okay? So, a debt is a debt as far as I'm concerned. And, and regardless of how the debt was incurred, so long as it was a, a legitimate debt, I thought the first thing I should do is to honor that debt. I went to FIFA with a meeting in a meeting with Mr. Blatter, his general secretary, secretary general, uh, one of his legal advisors, and another person who was the vice president. And I articulated our position my thoughts, my views, and I asked for assistance. I was told then that that was not possible because other territories and other countries, if there are similar situations like we had, uh, they could call upon FIFA because precedence had been set. And therefore, all sorts of adjustments were made after what happened, happened, you know, with, uh, with, with, with a vice president. And uh, President Blatter did not think he wanted to risk violating what the new changes were to accommodate Trinidad. So while he sympathized and empathized and sympathized with our situation, he said they could not help. I asked a lawyer off from FIFA a meeting and I told him if it were possible for FIFA to channel the money to CONCACAF under development of some, some, something and, uh, and assist. In that way, if CONCACAF would assist, CONCACAF had a, a come to 39 countries as compared to FIFA 210 countries. And I thought people in Congo would have had a little more emotional involvement because it's a Congo member that was involved. That too did not work. So uh, I had several discussions. I went, I went to uh, to, to Congo. I had a meeting with President Jeff Webb, and I shared with him a lot of which he had already known, uh, because it's, he was the president of Congo, so he would have known a lot of the goings on in, 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 in Trinidad. And uh, I said, well, I need help. And he, he told me, it was a pleasant surprise, that in their, in their uh, auditing or, 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 or forensics, whatever we, uh, investigations they were doing, they had, they had discovered there was some money that really should belong to TTFA, TTFF at the time. And, uh, but he had to certify those things with their lawyers, which they did. And we had a subsequent meeting with his lawyer, with Concaf lawyer, the general secretary and me. That followed a meeting, that was followed by a meeting with uh, Shaka himself and Ben Sancho. 
And uh, because by that time, well, I was kind of happy in my heart that we are coming to the end of this situation. Uh, so the meeting was held. We went up to New York, had a meeting at Congress with President Jeffrey and his general secretary and, and uh, his lawyer. And we discussed all the what we possible, what we can do and what we cannot do. President Jeffrey had indicated some things that would be coming to Congata from FIFA in terms of financial resources. Some things like, like bonuses and, and other grants, which were quite different from what I've seen before. It was a new initiative that FIFA had taken. And we would have benefited as well as any other Congacaf nation. Based on that, based on that solely, we were able to say that by this time, we are going to give you this amount. And by that time, we are giving you that amount. Because those were things that were almost certain concrete in terms of an arrangement between FIFA and all the confederations, including Congacaf. That was not a secret. It wasn't a secret. And we were proceeded to get the, the arrangement drafted, legally vetted, and signed. Okay? We, we took the, all the money, every single cent. And I'm not, not going to disclose the amount because we had a non disclosure agreement, and I'm going to honor that. But we took every single cent that we got and told them Congress, to pay it to us and we pay it to the players, which was done. We were supposed to have made a payment one year hence, which is... What, what, before, what was the agreement after that lump sum? Because I think that is no, where... No, the agreement was, it was one agreement. Pay this lump sum right. and pay this, the, the remainder incrementally. And the incremental payments would have been, would have been realized from what was promised to Kanka from FIFA with these grants and, 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 uh, and, and, and bonuses and all kind of stuff. So FIFA said, well, by September of the year, you'll, you'll get, uh, with that. I'm re repeating what President Jeffrey said. So the September of the year, you'll get this, and by next September, you get this, and so on, right? It was based on those promises and undertakings that we proceeded to draw the contract, right? So the contract included the lump sum and those incremental payments, those increments. Last year, September, is when the first tranche should have been paid based on the same promise and as per contract. The money did not come. On investigations, we found that because of some of the problems FIFA was having with Brazil, the World Cup in Brazil, and I, I, I hope that I'm not breaking too much confidentiality here, that those, those grants and bonuses were withheld. It is not, it is denied, it is just withheld. Okay? Meaning that we get the money, but they have to make sure that everything is in place with the World Cup, which was not expected. We subsequently could, but after September, and, and we have been in communication with those gentlemen. We received that amount, which is 40% of what was supposed to be paid. We gave them every cent, and that 40%, that what we got, was ready to be dedicated to development and women football. When, when did they receive that? Sometime, sometime, uh, Sheldon Philip will tell you more during the details, but, but, but it's not something after September. It may have been low in the year. So, 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 so Mr. Sancho claimed that September passed, October passed, November passed, December passed, but, January. No, 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 no. I think he must have been talking about the full complement, which as per contract. Right. I, 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 I think so. I didn't hear him say it, I didn't see him say it, but I, I know that was done, right? Mm -hmm. But, but they, received, they received another tranche. Yes, yes, yes. In, yes. In, or part of. A part of the tranche. Yeah, yeah. Probably yeah. not what they expected. Yes. But they received part of that tranche yeah. in yeah. September. Yeah. Let me, Every let, let, let me backtrack just a bit, mm -hmm. Mr. Temke. Um, when the agreement was struck with FIFA via CONCACAF and, and, and the TFA, based on where the funds would come from to pay mm -hmm. these players, yeah. did 
Brent Sancho and the Band of 2006 Warriors understand that the funds would be emanating from FIFA? We're not from FIFA, from CONCACAF. From CONCACAF? Yes. So they understood that? Yes. When the problem arose with FIFA um, and, and, and they weren't able to, to, to pay the monies, yeah. they understood that you did not receive the monies from FIFA? Well, well, were they included there, in, there that, in that discussion? There was free conversation, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I had no discussion conversation with them on that. Sheldon told the General Secretary, I mean, that, 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 that's part of his remit. Yeah. yeah. To get in that kind of detail and right. that kind of thing. Yeah. But it, it just seemed to me that uh, Mr. Sancho, and based on, on, on our discussions with him, is accusing the TTFA of not handling its business, so to speak. Well, you, you, you promised X, Y, Z, and you're not living up to, to X, Y, Z. Yes, what Mr. Sancho, I thought he would have understood. And any thinking person should understand. You make promises on things you have over which you have control, mm -hmm. and all things being equal, you could, you could satisfy those promises. If we have no control over those funds, because we are depending on the funds to come from a certain source. Right. And that's what I'm asking yeah. if he understood that that well, was I the don't case. know what he understood. You can't see what a man understands. Yes. You could see what was said in his presence. Right. Okay. Right? Fair enough. And, and, and there's nothing ambiguous about that. So I thought that was simple. Uh, so we did what we could have done. Even now, everybody knows we do have money. Still don't have money. We still don't have money, but let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. These guys are talking, and I don't know what source they're getting the advice from. The advice that I got was an option I could have exercised. It is clear football doesn't have money as an organization. Football has not been closed on as a business because it was never registered as a, as a limited liability company or a business. Right? It's an act of parliament. I put them there as a non-for-profit organization. FIFA is a private organization who accepts and rejects applicants that they want to accept or reject. Right? Okay. I could have easily, as was the advice of many, including legal, including legal advice, and looking at the, at the, at the enormous debt to be paid. Declare bank of bankruptcy. Right? Which cannot be questioned. If that had been done, if I had adhered to that advice, this now would not have been an issue. I have heard people talk all sorts of things about what they would have done. I don't know what you could do when an organization is bankrupt. And it's not difficult. It is not difficult by any means to have some feel and, and, and a glean from some things that I've heard from that part of the equation that then football in Trinidad finish. That is not so. Right? This is not a government, this is not any company under no company act or nothing like that. Right? And uh, any organization who meet the criteria for membership with FIFA could have done that. Well, read between the lines, and, and I'll tell you, and you could, you could see for yourself that and, and a, friend, a company that will be free of debt, that is a company registered differently, you know, on a different, all sorts of things, and got membership with FIFA. And nobody, nobody could interfere with that. Yeah, yeah. Right? I, I, so if yeah. I had taken that advice, which I could have, yes. I thought it would not have been the thing that my conscience would be comfortable with, knowing that the guys would promise. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So, and I have shared that before to them, with them. And I thought there would have been some greater appreciation for my selflessness and my desire to see things done right. Okay? But the pushing that is going on now, the pushing that is going on now, I still have the marbles in my hand to exercise options. And I am telling you conclusively that your best chances of getting money for that is with me or somebody that thinks like me and supported by Shell and or General Secretary because we both share the same view. So we have come for a purpose. The purpose was to alleviate a situation that prevailed, 
that threaten to destroy football, which is an institution here as far as I'm concerned, and, and you know, make things better for that. At this stage of the game, mm -hmm. Mr. President, it seems that Mr. Sancho and the Band of Warriors is intent on going to court, taking this matter back to court. If you had the opportunity to sit with Burns in a meeting now, what would be your advice? What, what would be your, your, your plea to him, if any at all? Or it doesn't no, no, matter no, to no, you? No, no, I have no intention of pleading with anybody mm -hmm. unless I think it's justified. And if I am wrong, or if I am at fault, then I am prepared to go at the top of the mountain and tell the world that. If I feel, however, that there is some lack of, 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 of balance in what is on the issue, then I am not prepared to do that. So at this stage, you're not prepared to renegotiate with the 2006 place? If renegotiation means to reiterate what was said before, mm -hmm. but then I'll do that because I, I, I don't want the truth. Mm -hmm. Okay, and sincerity. I have no problem with doing that. So at this stage of the game, if it if if, if, if it goes back to court, you're prepared for you're prepared for that eventuality. Yes, I have exercised my options. I have I have told my children, the day they did anything that will require court, they're on their own. Unless I believe in my mind that they have been advantaged or or, or they didn't contribute uh, to that situation. Mm. So when I tell you that, it means to say that no football or no sport could cause me to go to court. Okay? I exercise my options. And, 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 and but if they do that, I am sure they have enough sense to know that will be the end of football for some, for some years. Because there is no money to pay no lawyer for any court. Uh, it will just persist. And well, you know, do what, what they mean. You, you, you seem like you're almost a little upset that the players have taken this road again and, and not exercised a little more patience with the with the federal with the with the association. Well, it's, it's quite apart from patience. It's a matter of, of common sense. Nothing from nothing is nothing. I don't have a mint to manufacture money. The whole world knows we don't have money. So then on what basis? What, 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 what is the objective? If the objective is to get money and there is no money, what is the objective? What is the purpose? What is the end position? We, we spoke to Brent Sancho and uh, all he seems to want is for the TTFA to tell or give the, some, the players something tangible to hold on to. Can you at this stage, uh, you have no money to declare it, but can you at this stage tell them anything from a tangible perspective in that this, they can hold on in to? In this context, mm -hmm. when you talk about tangible, you talk about money. And you, you're not in a position to but do that. But you have. This. Yeah. Football owes me money right now. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a time when, when I gave football money many years ago in, in the earlier stages of football. Young uh, executive doing business, doing well. I give money to football. I mean, all those guys coming home, people feel what TTFF was, what's TTF is, yes, but it's my church you signed to bring them here, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, they live in, in my building in Port of Spain on Duke Street for a year and a half without a cent rent. And all, all expenses taken care of by me. Yeah. So I have been giving, right? But, and I continue to give even now. But the fact of the matter is then, I gave, now I loaned, Okay, because you don't get paid, as I said. So I loaned, and uh, I have not a cent. At this stage, yeah. based on the position that the Warriors have taken, mm -hmm. based on your position, yeah. that seems very clear to me, yeah. the saga is at a standstill. Well, I, I don't... Uh, I didn't say that. What but it, it just seems that there's yeah, nowhere else to go. You, no, no. The TTFA has no money. Yeah. The players are insisting that they need something tangible to hold on to. They, yeah. they want to know when they're getting the rest of their monies. Yeah. That has been promised. Yeah. We're going nowhere. But I mean, as you said, nothing from nothing is nothing. Mr. Right. Where, where, where do we go from here with regards to this current scenario? Let me tell you what I propose to do. Mm -hmm. Continue to do what I have to do. Okay? With the, the same sort of passion and sincerity. And Kisira Sira, 